For those who may not know, Autism Spectrum Disorder, or ASD, is a neurological disorder that affects the way the mind functions. Depending on what part of the spectrum you are on, you may display certain behaviors such as repetitive patterns, difficulties in social situations, and sensory sensitivities. The spectrum ranges from low functioning to high functioning, and my little sister Reed has high functioning autism, which means she can manage certain life skills without much assistance. Being Reed's older sister taught me a lot about myself and about empathy. At first, it was rough since our own South Asian community has a lot of mental health stigma. It was hard for my parents to deal with her diagnosis, and we began to live in fear and judgment of our own extended family and friends. We were scared that they wouldn't understand and they wouldn't take Reet seriously. I grew up not really going to a lot of people's houses and missing special events because we were fearful of what people in our community will say. Because we distanced ourselves more from our friends and family, it only increased the lack of support we had. I watched my parents go to doctor's appointments, therapy sessions, and continuously be with Reet to make sure she was safe and okay. But the consequences of that is that parents aren't able to equally distribute their energies to their other kids. There were times I was jealous of the attention Reet got, to the point where I was locked myself in my room out of stubbornness and I ended up falling asleep only to wake up to someone trying to break the door open. We laugh at that memory now since I was like 8 years old. Because a lot of energy was more focused towards Reet, I grew up maturing quicker than other kids and more independent. I felt the need to alleviate some of the stress my parents were under by taking more of a caretaker role and keeping a lot of my own mental health issues to myself so I don't add on to their baggage. But of course, keeping it all inside only made things worse for myself mentally. I know back then if we had more courage to reach out to people and there was less stigma in our community, maybe my parents would have been able to balance both the wreath and me better, but I'm grateful and in awe of how well they were able to handle it all on their own. I just want other people who are caretakers that your emotions, your experiences are valid. I struggled a lot with guilt for feeling depressed or anxious at times, and I still do, but I can say with confidence that it gets better, it gets lighter. My sister and I had a pretty weak relationship in the beginning. We barely talked, we fought a lot, and never played together. But growing up, I realized that by being kinder to her, I could support her. I could make her feel less alone. And that's hard sometimes, showing unconditional love. For a while, at first, Reet wasn't able to reciprocate my efforts, but you can't give up. Reet isn't able to express her emotions as easily as others can. And you have to have faith that they love you just as much as you love them throughout the process. Now, Reet and I are finally at a place where we have full conversations. We love talking to each other and hanging out with each other outside. And she's begun to reciprocate a lot of my efforts. It may sound weird, but my favorite times with her is when we fight about small things. It makes me feel like our sisterly bond really has strengthened. Try and try again to support them because sometimes they aren't able to tell you that they need help and by supporting them, you not only help them bloom, but you help, help yourself gain more empathy and understanding of human connections. On the brighter side, Reed challenged my family's understanding of mental health. My family was also conditioned with stigma against mental health, but Reed made us understand the importance. When I started to be more open about my mental health with my parents, they were more understanding, open-minded, and supportful, and I can't be more grateful for that. They understood what it felt like to be alone in your own negative thoughts. They understood that having these conversations about mental health are important in our community. We still have a long way to grow as a family, but we definitely have started to bloom. My dad realized that we are just one of the families in the South Asian community who struggled with stigma and lack of support. We decided to start a nonprofit organization called Six for Autism to help create more conversations about mental health in the South Asian community and let others know that there is someone who understands them and that they are not alone.